We're joined now with DDA, one of the hottest models that we've just seen on the runway at the GQ parade. Was it fun being out there with all the men? Yeah, it was definitely a good time. It was my first time doing it in three years. Right. So it's kind of like a comeback show and it was a really good time. So why did you decide to come back now? Was it just uh, for GQ? Uh, GQ, you know, I modeled a lot three, like two years ago for uh, different companies and I was under exclusive contract. So I took a break and this is actually like my first runway back. So when GQ called, I came a running. <laughs> Do you think you'll be making a comeback? Are we going to be seeing more of you on the runways? Oh, I hope so. I look to be doing some campaigns with some great Australian designers coming up. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Who are some of your favorite Australian designers? Uh, we'll start off with the bigger ones is uh, Xanarob. I love Xanarob. Leif. Is, and they're cool dudes too, Leif yeah. is the coolest guy. Like, yeah. wearing Xanarob now, I can't take these jeans off. Um, Shoe-wise, Gideon Shoes. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm actually designing a shoe for them. Yeah, it's coming out next year. Do you want to give us a sneak peek? What to expect? It's, uh, this think, like, old 1950s, 60s style. So, like, an old, really cool greaser uh, denim jacket. Uh -huh. But it's going to be a high-top sneaker. Wow. It's going to be really cool. That's interesting. Yeah. And then the smaller ones, I like uh, Perspective of apparel and wearing this vest now. These two kids came up to me about a year ago and gave me clothes and they're just so on point. They're like five years ahead of their time so yeah, wow. look out for them. Now is this kind of like what we would see you in normally a bit of like a streetwear sort of label? It's more of like, yeah kind of. I, I do a lot more a little classier than this. I do kind of 1950s Marlon Brando, James Dean. So the motorcycle boots, the motorcycle chains, but you'll see me in like a pea coat or a flannel or a leather jacket. It's more of my style old motorcycle. Oh yeah? Do you put these looks together yourself or do you work with a stylist? I do. I work all by myself. It's I'm inspired by the old classic movies. Oh, yeah. So when I dress up, say, for like a nice event, I'll dress up how they did in the 20s and 30s. Mm -hmm. You know, almost like the zoot suit look with a chain and everything and then daytime, the 50s, 60s classic. I'm a classic guy, man. Classic guy, huh? I love it. I love it. I can't get over it. The whole saggy, baggy pants thing and stuff like that. No, it's not for me, man. Not for you? No. So do you think that you know, guys should be stepping it up more in the fashion stakes? I think guys should look back on Humphrey Bogart, uh -huh. Marlon Brando, James Dean, John F. Kennedy, and say, wow, why are those people looked at fashion legends that are getting emulated today? It's because they're classy guys the way they dress. They dress like men. They didn't dress too metrosexual, really feminine. They didn't dress too, look at me, I'm a macho guy. Just real classy. Suits when it's needed for, nice shorts, nice jeans, flannels. Just keep it simple and classy for a woman. The one, it's the woman's job to dress up and look beautiful. Guys just stay classy and clean. Good advice there from DDA. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you looking classy all around the bat. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you so much.